Hey guys, thanks for watching this week's video. Today I'm going to be talking about all of my spring beauty favorites. So just like all the beauty products that I've tried over the last few months that I've been loving and wanted to share. Um, I have a lot of makeup, some hair, tanning and then some perfume so lots of beauty things and before we get too into it i wanted to say a special thank you to john frida hair care for sponsoring this video and so i will start with face makeup so i had never heard of frankie rose cosmetics until about a month ago with makeup i just kind of stick to like the things that i know like i know that urban decay is good i know that tarte is good and so i just kind of never veer out um into the makeup realm but um i don't I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram stories but I had cracked my foundation I dropped it on the floor and it shattered it was totally done and I was like man so I went shopping to get some new stuff and I saw Frankie Rose and so I was like I've never heard of that before let me look it up and I saw that it was LA based and their makeup's known for being really lightweight with a lot of coverage, which is what I like because a lot of times when I want a lot of coverage, the makeup feels so heavy and just like makes my skin really oily throughout the day. This had amazing reviews, so I thought that I would test it out. And the first thing that I love, this is probably my favorite thing from them, it's their face primer and it's literally just like a gel, this little gel bottle of gold goodness like it's it's just amazing i used to use face primer all the time in like junior high and high school i don't know why i stopped using it but i'm like so happy that i started using it again because you just put a little like pea size amount all over your face and it rubs in and it literally like mats your pores so you don't have pores and it just makes it so much easier to get that flawless coverage if that's what you're looking for which it probably is because that's what everyone's looking for with makeup and this does such a good job and then I use the matte perfection foundation in angel and the I don't know what this is called exactly but it's like their under eye like concealer it's in the color fresh and so I use both these this is all what's on my face right now and it is so nice all of the reviews were completely accurate like my face has full coverage and it feels like nothing's on my face is not too heavy it doesn't get oily it doesn't smear off it is amazing and so i was so happy that i veered out of my comfort zone to try this because it's amazing and for the foundation, I've been using this thing. The brand is called Makeup Drop. I don't know if that's exactly what this is called, but I will link it below. But it's basically a silicone beauty blender. And I have used a normal like foam beauty blender for like over a year now and they sent this to me in the mail and at first I was kind of like how is that going to blend in your makeup it's just this little like silicone rubber thing I was like there's no way that that rubs it in but I decided to give it a try and so I pumped two pumps of my foundation which is what I normally do and I started rubbing it on my face and it was so much foundation because I didn't realize the beauty blender absorbs like literally half of your foundation or your makeup that you put on it. And this, since it's silicone, it doesn't absorb any of your makeup. So I had to wipe off like half of the makeup because it was way too much. And I was like, wow, this doesn't waste any of your makeup I bet my foundation will last so much longer if I use this and it actually rubbed it in really well like I was so shocked by this thing and I thought it was really cool because when you're done you just wipe it off and then it's clean like new where the beauty blender is like all the makeup gets stuck in it you have to get it damp beforehand and so it gets really gross really fast when this is definitely a lot more hygienic and I feel like it's gonna last for a long time and it's gonna make my makeup last for a long time so I got really lucky that they just sent this to me because I was like wow I wish that someone would have told me about this because it is magical and then after those two things i put on the urban decay all-nighter setting powder and i have used their all-nighter spray um for a couple years now i'm sure a lot of you guys use it too it's really popular but normally i use the laura mercier setting powder and that stuff is like really expensive i think it's like 60 dollars a bottle or something like that and i go through them pretty quick but once you use setting powder you can't really go without setting powder if you use setting powder you know what i'm talking talking about and I was gifted this at an event that I went to and so when I ran out of my Laura Mercier I was like you know what? I'll just try this out and I have been loving it like I use it every day it's almost gone already it doesn't have like the name of a color on it but I think that the color is perfect for me because it blends in it just like goes on top of my foundation and just perfects the whole thing and the Laura Mercier powder doesn't have any color in it but this has a little bit of color in it and so I love it and I am definitely going to be buying another one of these and this is way more affordable than the other setting powder that I was using and then this is called the I'm gonna butcher this 
Guiz. It's G U I Z E Face FX. And they sell this at Revolve, at Nordstrom. It's really popular right now. And so I got the color Moonlight, which is for lighter skin, and it is perfect. I have it on right now. So if you guys could see the bronzer and then the highlight, I have the highlight on my nose and then on my cheeks. It is so nice, you guys. This is what it looks like. And it's just the perfect colors. One's a little bit more orange, one's a little bit just kind of brown. And then there's this one, which is the color of your skin to kind of put up on your cheekbones and then the highlight it comes with a little like booklet that tells you exactly where to put each shade for your face like if you have a round face or if you have a square face I just kind of go for it because like I said I'm not much of a makeup guru but I just put like these two I put a little tiny bit because this stuff is so potent you literally like dab your makeup brush and it goes on so well so I put those two on my cheekbones and then on my forehead and then on the outsides of my nose and then I put the highlight on my cheekbones the tip of my nose and and then the top of my lips. And for my eyeshadow, this palette is so old. Like, look at this thing. It has seen better days. I've had this probably since junior high, maybe like freshman year of high school, but I just discovered it as I was cleaning out my bathroom and I started using it and it is amazing. I don't even know what this palette is called. I guess it's just the original Naked palette, but I love the color Smog. I put Smog on my eyelid. <laughs> I'm like, I'll try and give you guys a closer shot, but I put smog on my eyelid and then virgin and sin up on the top of my eye, on the crevices inside my eye, and then on the outside of my eye. And then I use creep, which is like the black. I just use a little bit on the like right above my lashes and it blends together so well. It's so like potent. I just use a little bit of the smog and rub it and it covers my whole eyelid in this beautiful bronzed glittery gold color and it is so pretty i use this to do all my makeup at stagecoach and coachella just because it's so easy and the colors are so beautiful so i know that this is really old but bear with me it's amazing and i love it and then for my lips today i've been loving this combo these are also from frankie rose cosmetics um this color is exposed this lipstick it's kind of like a dark pinky rose color which I don't normally wear I normally go for like the more taupe color which is where the lip gloss comes in um this is called exotic and this is more a of a taupey color so I just love the combination of these two with a little bit of shine I think that it's really pretty just for like a normal everyday casual lip color and next for hair this is the John Frieda hair care violet crush purple shampoo and conditioner and you guys if you are blonde you need this stuff I started using it a few months ago and ever since I started using it this like tone see the tone of my hair right now it is to me this is perfect like this is exactly how I like my hair to look and my hair is really prone to getting brassy and so I use this stuff like once or twice a week and it maintains this ashy color I'll put a before and after picture right here so you guys can see the difference between before I used it and now once I'm using it every week and my hair seriously turned like this after one wash and it's just continued to stay like this ever since I started using it and a lot of you guys know that I have extensions and so one problem that I always had with purple shampoo was that it would like stain my extensions which was the worst because then it would take so long to get out and I just have this like purple streak in my hair but this doesn't stain my extensions or my natural hair at all and it's really hydrating which was another thing that I was having trouble with with other purple shampoos because like I said I like to maintain this color and so when I'm using it once or twice a week sometimes it would dry out my hair but this did the opposite it actually hydrated my hair it's very moisturizing and so i love it and the best part it's only 9.99 and they're selling it at target starting may 20th so if you guys want to try this out i highly 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 recommend it and you can get it from the best store ever target on may 20th Okay, next is my tanner. I've been talking about this on Instagram a lot. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you should. This is the best tanner ever. It's called Isle of Paradise, and it is a tanning water, which a lot of people are like, what is a tanning water? So... They have it in a spray and a mousse, and I like the mousse more because you can, you spray the mousse onto this glove or whatever tanning mitt that you have, and you rub it onto your skin, and so the mousse really allows you to see where you're putting it, where the spray, you're kind of like aiming and hoping that you got it everywhere. The spray works really well, but if you have trouble, like, getting it on if you miss patches if you tend to do that a lot the mousse is a lot better and so I use the dark and then they also sent me this ultra dark I'm not sure if this is out yet I'll have to check but I'm wearing the ultra dark right now but when I use the dark 
that's a perfect shade too so i would recommend starting with like the medium or the dark and seeing if it works for you but what i love about the water is that it's clear and so it, the tan doesn't rub off on your clothes like if you wear white clothes or when you're working out it's not like, like sometimes when i would use other brands that have colored foam you could see it like dripping off and it's just it's gross but the water doesn't do that since it goes on clear qvc which is like the infomercial website i think is having a really good deal on these right now it's the mousse and and the face drops which are the drops that you rub in with your face lotion and put on your face um you can get both of them for like 37 dollars when normally i think it's like 64 so it's an insane deal so i will put the link in the description but i thought i would tell you guys about this because summer is coming okay and lastly i got two perfumes from fragrance net and if you guys don't know what that is it's basically a website where you can get up to 80 percent off retail prices for perfume they have like skincare and stuff like that but i really like to get my perfume from them because they just always have have the best deals and so i got saint laurent perfume and a mark jacobs daisy i haven't unwrapped this yet because i'm still finishing up my last bottle of this one because this is like my go-to i love 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 this perfume but i thought that i would go on a whim and get saint laurent because if you guys don't know what saint laurent is it's like a huge designer um kaden loves their shoes we love their clothes but they're very expensive and so i got this perfume i forget exactly how much it was but it was so affordable so i was like you know what i'm just gonna get me some designer perfume while i have the chance they also gave me a discount code for you guys for an extra percentage off so i will put that right here and yeah so that is it for this spring beauty haul i hope that you guys loved all the things that i shared i really 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 know that if you guys try any of these out you're gonna love every single one of them because i just adore them so like i said everything is linked in the description below and i hope that you guys like this video if you liked it be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know what you guys want to see next on this channel in the comments and i hope that you guys have the best week ever bye